Hi, we're Jerry and Diana. We're going to tell you everything about Lost River Resort. Maybe you'll want to stay here too. This is a Lost River Resort. Uh, six and a half miles outside of Mazama, which is a privately owned piece of property with cabins and spots to park RVs. And yeah, six spots. Six spots for RVs? Yeah, I think there's seven posts, but I think they, they advertise six. So I, I'm not sure what's going on. And then I think there's six cabins also. Mm. I think there's four on this side and two over across the street or some breakup like that. Yeah. There's some are across the street and some are right here. And there's two pins for horses. Well, you can temporarily, you know, board your horse while you're camped here or staying in the cabin here. So they have it set up so people can take their horses out on the trails. There's yeah. a bunch of different hiking and, I guess, horse trails going to the North Cascades. Uh, it was a medium price campground for us. We paid about $30 a night in the summer of 2023. Your mileage may vary. As far as hookups go, we have electricity and we have water, yep. but we do not have... There's no sewer hookup. Sewer hookup. Black water tank. I, I, but I supposedly there's a place to dump on the property. Um, I don't know where it is and I don't know who you would ask. Yeah, so far we have not been parented at all. I would say no one has been here in authority. There was someone here doing housekeeping and there was someone here doing maintenance. We literally drove up, backed into the site that we reserved, hooked up, and have been camping here. Yeah, no humans talking. Doing to us. whatever we want. Yep. Literally. He just took a shower outside. With clothes on. With a okay, okay, with on. clothes on. But my point being, yeah. you're not supposed to do that in the regular camper. Kind of kind of pushing the bounds to see if anybody cares. Here. We got garbage hung up, wet laundry. We are yes, literally the there. white trash. Why do you say we're white trash? We have a white trash bag hanging off of our pop up. Oh, yeah, white trash, literally. There's one other camper in the. Um, RV sites. There's a father and son over there, and we haven't met them. And in the cabins, we've met a man and his dog. Well, we met the dog. And the dog is. I haven't met the man. I don't no. know the man's name, but the dog's name is Sue. It's how, a male dog. How do you do? Mm -hmm. Like a boy named Sue. The dog barks very, very loud, and it's very, very excited, but is not me. He's only barking because he's happy. Yes, he's very excited. He knows where he is and what he's doing. Um, no fire pits. There is a fire pit, like one would um, sit around if they were with their buddies here, but not with their buddies. No individual fire pits, and there's two dilapidated picnic tables. Yep. So it's not a full setup like you get at an RV park. But This is a good place to stay if you wanted power and water, and you wanted, you know, to venture out into the North Cascades area. It's a great jumping off point. Mm -hmm. It's a beautiful area itself. Lost River is beautiful. Um, there's there's quite a few people that frequent this area for hiking and stuff, obviously. Yeah. It's we ran into a lot of people going up to Hart's Path, but there's not as many people camping as I thought there would have been. Yeah. Because there's a lot of dispersed camping just beyond here that's free. So there's dispersed camping you can do with an RV, and then there's a bunch of dispersed camping without RV too. Yeah, you wouldn't be able to get RVs close down to the methow um, on the dispersed camping spots, but you could get an SUV or a van or a, you know, a truck mm -hmm. and camp right on the river for free. And there, there were quite a few people today. I scoped it out a couple weeks ago. There was nobody there, but this is post 4th of July. So this is the weekend after 4th of July. So people are still out and about. Yep. And there were a lot of people going up to Hearts Pass to check out the views, which were amazing. Which were crazy. Uh, but Hearts Pass Campground, which is um, really kind of a cool little campground. There was only one campsite that was taken out of, I think, maybe four or five. Yeah. And then there's another one up there called Meadows. And it was a, it was probably about two-thirds full. So that, that was a little more popular. But we found two really nice dispersed campsites off of the road that nobody was at. So I, I was surprised, as beautiful as the area is and, and as many people as frequent it, there's places to camp for free. Um, but if you want hookups, this is the last spot that there's hookups. Yeah. There's two National Forest campgrounds just beyond here that are, a you know, 10, 15 bucks, whatever they are. But they were, um, one of them looked like it was full. And the other one looked like, like it 
it was pretty full. I don't know what was going on. There were like they were together. 25 it was a group. middle-aged dudes like sitting in a classroom or something. Like they were there for some meeting, you know, some uh, club or group, whatever. Maybe they were in a cult. And they all were waving as you drove by, which is kind of funny. The weather here, when we've been here in July, it's been between 78 and 91 degrees. Yeah. So prepare yourself to be warm. It's also rained. But it's been warm and raining. Yeah, if you can find shade. Yeah, we have to pop up up. We have to pop up up. Of course, we have hookups so Dinah can escape to the AC. But in the shade, it's nice. A little breeze blowing most of the time. Yeah, and since we couldn't hook up the sure. sewer, there is a very close by outhouse. So, oh yeah, there's an outhouse right across. Yeah. yeah, so it's like a honey bucket, but I don't think it's branded. So I think they actually own it. And so it's well maintained and the housekeeper did ask us to tell her if we needed anything for it. So that was really nice. Though we have not had any sort of host, <laughs> right? Any sort of what? Host. No, no, we haven't. There were no instructions with the reservations about the RV stuff. Mm -mm. If you were staying in, in a cabin. cabin, there were instructions. But if you're an RV, you've reserved a site. I pulled up, backed into the spot, set up, and have nobody's even really looked my way other than the housekeeper asking Diana if she needed anything for the porta potty. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. There is a dumpster for garbage. Apparently, I just made my way over there. Have, has it been emptied? It was full when I went. It was still full this morning. I had, I had room to throw our garbage in there. I, and I am assuming that you're allowed to throw your garbage in it. I did. I. Nice. I just assumed it was part of the deal. That was where we'd throw our garbage. So that's where it's been going. Wi-Fi and cell service. <laughs> None. You have a bar, right? On your phone? I've had one bar and it has worked twice. Like I sent one text and got one back. And I got my email once. But we can't check the weather or anything. Because it's just not working. There's just no Wi-Fi. So if you have sent... What is it called? Uh, Starlink. Starlink. If you have Starlink, bring it with you. You're going to need it. No showers. Our site's not quite level. It's pretty close, but it's yeah, not. Yeah, I've, I've stayed in worse. Yeah. But it's just a, it's just a grass field. But the view's amazing. Yeah. Like, I mean, we're looking at two different sets of mountains. You're you're in a mountain valley and a river valley. You're in the Methow River Valley, the upper Methow. And so, you know, you, you look around, you're in the woods, beautiful mountain range. Both sides of you, you're up against a hill, and uh, you're sitting in a grass field with electric and water hookups. At, in Mazama, there is a really cute general store. It has like uh, boutique items, like handmade soaps, and it's some, um, what do I want to say, corporate items, like uh, it had gluten free things and beyond meat and so it had a really neat variety it was a fun store to go down and look at i've stopped there before even when not staying in mazama because the store is so cute and i think it has an espresso stand inside and then there's a restaurant attached to it a deli or a restaurant of some type i, I didn't really check that out but yeah. the prices are high but you are out in the middle of nowhere and if you need if you need something staple wise they definitely would have it yeah. You just, you know, you're not going to pay prices you'd pay in, in the Seattle area or anything. But but we went through Leavenworth. I saw this washcloth that Vicki had got me at, that I love. It turns out I love this washcloth. And it was $9.50 in Leavenworth. And they had it here for five fifty. Oh. Mm -hmm. So I'm thinking in town it might be like two fifty. dollars I, I don't know. But their markup's not as big as you would have in Leavenworth. It's a nice store. It's super clean. It's super. Yeah. It's a super cool Boutique store. Boutique little store. Yeah. So on the trip, I've bought four things maybe total, including in that store, I bought some gluten-free lemon cookies and uh, a beeswax-based um, like lotion for my skin. And I paid way too much and figured that was the deal. I also I bought these in Winthrop. These little earrings, they were handmade and they were $10, so, you know, you're paying what tourists pay, pay. And then I got a couple stickers 
but I got a good price because they were mini stickers. So they were only like two bucks. I just don't buy that much when we're traveling. I could go crazy buying stuff for the RV, but a lot of that I get on Amazon. And so I'm waiting till we get back anyway. No, I mean, it's a, it's an older property. It's been here for a long time, obviously. But, you know, don't stay here thinking that you're staying at a oh, resort sorry. with all the amenities. It's a, it's a place to pit stop and go hiking or mountain biking, you know, maybe venture into North Cascades National Park, and it would be good for that, and it's a reasonable price, and you're definitely not going to be bothered by anybody, nobody paying attention to us, and I like that, I appreciate that. It's all in what you want. Yep. We will see seven campsites in 13 days. Here is a video from that series and a video down here that YouTube picked out just for you.